Hi everyone. It is October 28, 2018. I want to first read two comments that I received underneath this video that I posted last night on the current affairs. Sorry, on the um, the police audio scanner that ran for an hour and 49 minutes. The police referring to the suspect as an actor repeatedly, numerous times. Two police officers weighed in, stating, I'm a retired police officer. I've participated in dozens and dozens of drills. Some involved using actors. We never once called the actors who were role playing as the bad guy girl as an actor. We referred to them as suspects in 30 years working the street. I never heard the term actor used when dealing with a suspect. They were either a suspect, subject, victim, or witness. And another police officer, I highlighted it, but it came, the highlighting came off. Um, hi, Carol. I'm a retired police officer from a large police department. I was on a tactical unit as well, which means I trained a lot. Never have we referred to anyone at any time during training or live events as an actor. In fact, training always it was in a closed or abandoned area. Well, training now, military, police, it's right smack all over uh, in all areas. So drills, active shooting drills taking place in schools that traumatize students. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you that here we have two police officers saying no. After, that's not a term that the police use. There's no logical reason outside of police officers involved in a drill for using the term actor for a suspect. A fundraiser has gone up immediately, not 24 hours later. Boom, up, yeah. Okay, I work for the Tree of uh, Life synagogue, and I have just experienced a shocking event. So shocking that it puts one's mind into a whole other realm and you, you can barely talk w without like stuttering or it, it's very hard when you go through shocking events like this it is very hard to think clearly and oh but we've got an awful lot of people after mass shooting events who can think very very clearly and think we need money we need money tree of life go fund me they've already amassed Three hundred and thirty six thousand two hundred ninety five thousand. Their goal one million. They put up this GoFundMe to repair the physical damages of the building. Did the building get a bomb? Did the, the what's the destruction of the building that is so great? The shooter missed uh, a person and the bullet went into a wall. You have a hole in the wall, so you spackle it. Um, sorry. Uh, but it's also up there for the survivors and the victims of families. And I will tell you that Jews really take care of their own. Now, just want to say, these GoFundMes, virtually every mass shooting event, boom, donate. Donate. And the amount of money that is brought in because people, they're so outraged that people have died in a mass shooting event. But if somebody is just shot on the street, they don't care too much about them. They don't bring in millions of dollars. And these, this is a synagogue for this mass shooting. But I will tell you that the other mass shootings, yes, we all know this. Well, I'll get to that 
Sutherland First Baptist Church in Texas in a moment. But we've had uh, the Pulse nightclub in Florida. Well, that was homosexuals. And we've had church shootings, and we have school shootings, and we've got synagogue shootings. And so it is not, and I have already deleted comments from people who say it's the Jews. And those people who are actually Christian, who can say good, good, wipe them off the map. Now that's a real Christian response. Yeah, that's how Christ would respond. Okay, so it's not just the Jews who lie. It's not just the Jews who post GoFundMes right after a shooting event. No. In fact, the Jews are a tiny segment of the world's population, a very tiny segment of Americans the American population. So what has happened? We've got an awful lot and I have gotten the comments. It's the Jews. Get rid of the Jews and we would have no evil. Wow! Really? Unbelievable. Well, if Christians actually live the principles that they speak, if they had uh, the the ability to try to live a Christ-like life to the best of their ability, this nightmare would never have developed. So something is very wrong with that thinking. We've got an awful lot of non-Jews participating in the, hey, let's make life meaningless and let's just lie. Oh, and what are the other possibilities of the, these one events, the, a mass shooting event? What is all of it about? Well, it's, it's about programming Americans to lose their humanity. With every mass shooting event, what we see are an awful lot of people who do not exhibit normal feelings at all. It's kind of bizarre. Like they've lost their um, emotional connection to the event that has taken place. Sandy Hook, we saw an awful lot of parents sticking their face into cameras, microphones, and smiling and talking about how love is necessary while, while they just experienced their six-year-old being brutally gunned down in such a manner that we couldn't even see any pictures because it was so brutal. But yet the parents are up there smiling laughing. Robbie Parker, um, who just lost his, you know, six-year-old or however old. But th these are not normal responses at all. But people think, wow, they're so strong. And yes, love is the answer. Well, love is the answer. But everything has to be real for there to be an answer when you have people pretending and not real and lying, what you have are people contributing to uh, the sickness, not the healing. You know, I saw this article, Enough is Enough, Fed Up Americans Crave you Unity Amid Violence. I crave real. Please give me real. Please. Please give me people who don't lie, who don't live a lie, who really work on themselves to try to live the principles that they speak. Please give me honesty. Please give me a community where I can trust other people. 
But when I see articles like this, I think the unity, well, that's about bringing that one world religion. It's about bringing the one world religion. That's another objective in these kinds of shooting events. You have this anti-Semite going in, killing down Jews. And what do the Jews talk about then? Moment in time where it gets too personal and too close and we haven't even... Too personal, too close. She is a member of the Squirrel Hill community. Not 24 hours later, she is capable of uh, a train of thought that one wouldn't expect in just a couple of hours after a mass shooting of members of a community that she is a member of herself talking with a very coherent train of thought expressed and now she's talking about how love we need to love no more hatred these are not normal emotions for someone who is real involved in a real event. Not at all. You would have a whole range of emotion. Despair. Shock. Though shock is not necessarily an emotion. You would have anger. You would, you would be reeling. But no. What we see after these mass shooting events are people who are really quite fine. We haven't heard who the victims are and we are, our hearts are... Now, I have to stop there again. Who are the victims? Okay, uh, there was a bris at this synagogue and the shooter came in and killed people who participated in this bris. This is a tiny segment of the population and members of that community those who are members of the synagogue certainly would know who is attending that bris. But they don't know who the victims are. Heavy and we've all heard from all over the world. I got a, I got uh, messages from Israel and wanting to make sure that we're okay because of Shul and, and Squirrel Hill. and. And I think the one of the speakers said it so beautifully, and I think it was the Imam who we've met several times, that the Jewish community thinks of everyone in this community, and, and we do really... All right, look, as I've said before, I grew up in a predominantly Jewish area. Most of my friends are Jews, and I will tell you, this is not a Jewish response to an anti-Semite coming in, shooting down, killing 11 people, injuring others during a bris? Uh-uh-uh-uh. No, I'm sorry. This is not the normal response. This is programming Americans to all come together in a kumbaya kind of way to get rid of religions for only one religion so that we can finally stand together in unity. Um, love. Love is the answer. And it is the answer. But it needs to be real. Genuine. Not phony, fake not using love to achieve goals as a means to an end, which is what's happening right here. We, we're part of this community and we, we're all important and we all work together to try to solve 
all the needs that we need in this community. And this, it's, it's so shocking, it's so unbelievable, but I loved what he said about taking all the anger and all the hatred that you feel that this happened and put it into action and into love, into ways that we can help each other to rise up. Okay. I'm sorry. This does not come immediately. Um, and the only thing that will heal this nightmare is for people to be real, to be honest. And you want to go immediately to love when you have lost members of your community who have been gunned down in a brutal way, or you want to be a mother who has had her own daughter gunned down, dead, talking about the necessity for love and Okay, it's not just the Jews. That's what I'm saying. It is not just the Jews. It is the lying Christians, the lying Jews, the lying Muslims, the um, ordinary Jews, non-Jews, Gentiles. It's the world people who live a lie. Can't get real, can't get honest. And whether it's a mass shooting event or it's just the ordinary relationships that we have with one another. This is widespread. The sickness is not just those involved in the agenda, not just those in government who are reshaping the world, not just the globalists, not just the, the sick, elitist, psychopathic, narcissistic nutjobs. It is everyone who can't be honest, who can't face their own self to weed out their hypocrisy to weed out their living of a lie. Those who refuse to seek the truth and those who do not put truth as the most important thing in life, then you all contribute to this nightmare. This is a mother who has had her daughter gunned down and then what, 24, could be 36 hours later, her face in a camera, microphones, talking to the nation. We lost more than Mel yesterday. And one thing that gives me a sliver of encouragement is the fact that Mel was surrounded yesterday by her church family that she loved fiercely. And really? So this woman had her daughter gunned down in her church where her husband, was it her husband? Yeah, she's the pastor's wife. Their daughter, brutally gunned down. Where's the emotion? Are you kidding me? And people watch this and they don't see that something is very wrong with this picture. And this is a Christian. Oh my God, a Christian mother who just lost her daughter to such brutal violence, and she has no emotion. No, it's not just the Jews. You want to think it's just the Jews, and you want to throw out your hate about Jews? Don't expect people to have any feeling for the Christians who are also victims of violence or whatever else happens. You cannot want an entire community erased from the map and then expect people to respect and love you and care for you or have compassion for you when you become a victim. That's not the answer to the problems that we have. But we have widespread problems. We have widespread sickness 
in an awful lot of humans walking this globe who have lived a life, their ripple effect manifesting the nightmare that we live. And the only answer is truth. And truth does actually equal God, equal Christ. So when we've had a majority in this country who are Christians, a huge majority, guys, you were like 93% of the population forever. Now you're still a huge majority at 74%. And you're claiming this tiny segment of the population had such an influence over your own soul. What does that say about your soul? your spiritual development, your moral core. So, it's a shame that we have gotten to this place. You know, another person here talking about the loss of members of her community. Worried and would, waiting to find out the people in our congregation that were killed today. I have close friends who worship in Squirrel Hill and when I found out about the news today it just made me nauseous and tearful. Eleven people were killed in the shooting at oh, the synagogue, synagogue and where are people, where are the real people who actually have emotion about this? We're waiting to find out who the victims are. I'm sorry, this is a tiny member, a, a tiny community and they would know who the victims are. They would know who was attending that bris. Because they would be talking amongst themselves. And yes, I will say that I know this because I know that community. I know Jews. I know And I know, you know, Jews who are members of synagogues, they all know one another. This, I also want you to hear. Uh, it's the, the inconsistencies that we are hearing. Actors, actors, actors. Police referring to a suspect as actors. There are so many little bits and pieces that you can pull from all of these events that are so stunningly unreal and what we have is a population of people who just don't want to know the truth who want to believe everything that the TV tells them and that also all of those people contribute to this nightmare as well but listen to this Thanks for them. You know, we had eight police officers in our house setting up sniper posts uh, barricading the doors making sure everything was okay um, but I, I I understand why they didn't pick up. But it was it was a very scary moment for me. So, like, when she called you, they, the cops were already in the house. Uh yes. Did, did, did they tell you like did they hear gunshots or did the cops just come you know crashing into, into the house or yeah the cops came <laughs> crashing into the house. Um, my my mom actually heard gunshots. Then the cops came crashing into the house. Uh, they um they didn't the cops didn't tell my parents what were going on they just directed them to lock themselves in the basement so for the longest time they didn't know what was going on either but once uh once things started to calm down a little bit the shooter was still active but they uh got the information from the cops and were able to come up from the basement which uh which honestly was how i would have preferred them to stay in the basement because there was a gun brawl that was happening outside my porch and my little brother actually witnessed the death of some people Okay. Shot. Okay. okay, listen, um, there, Jesus, they have so many objectives in these, but just one event. Um, it is programming Americans to not have any feelings and go right to love. And if you can't go right to love, something is wrong with you. 
It is for that one world religion. Guys, we just can't get along. We've got too many anti-Semites. We've got people uh, killing Christians in churches. We can't get along. We've got to have one religion. But also, programming Americans to, you allow the police to do whatever the hell they want to do. It's for your safety. They crash into a home that is close to the synagogue. Really? Okay. Did you hear the inconsistency? This guy talking about how the police crash into a home, order the family into the basement. They don't know what's going on. But then the police allow them to come out of the basement, and yet there was shooting going on right outside their home on the porch, and his little brother saw people getting gunned down. Were people gunned down on the street? Didn't all of the shooting take place in the synagogue? That's what I've heard, but I haven't listened to every um, report on this shooting. So if people were gunned down on the street, I didn't hear about that. But isn't it interesting that the police allow this family to come out of the basement? They order them into the basement for their safety, but they allow them to come out of the basement and there's active shooting going on right outside their home that they're, that his little brother sees. Really? Okay. That sure does sound a little bit odd. All of the lies that are told have created the nightmare that we live. If we can't get honest ourselves, we have no right to expect anything different. All links are below.